Hello Helium fans, I'm back with another unboxing. This time it's with the SenseCap M1 from Seed. The SenseCap M1 received second place in the community voted Helium Noble Awards for 2021. Now I received this as a content creation unit recently from Ukraine. A host of mine was having problems with their miner, so we're gonna switch to this one, but ended up resolving it otherwise. So I haven't mined with it yet, but I did reach out to a friend of mine who has been using his M1 for quite some time. He absolutely loves it, and that's a direct quote. So let's look at through it visually first, and then we'll look at the specs, their website, and some other information. Now before we open her up, let's take a look at the box itself. It's a pretty black box with uh, some serial numbers and manufacturer information on the back side there. When you open it up, you'll find a guide that also has a QR code linking to the latest documentation in case there's been updates from here. So that's an, a nice addition. Pretty standard packaging here. We have your adapter, your antenna. That's a 2.6 dBi antenna. And then the actual miner itself. Now the M1 is a fairly light but sturdy miner with metal all around the outside with, a pla with plastic front and rear panels. On the back side, it has an RP SMA, a Bluetooth pairing button, a USB-C jack, and an Ethernet port. The M1 also has a fan for cooling, which is, has vents on the, the back side, the bottom side, and also the front side. While this will fit in and work with the standard rack enclosure, rack does have a SenseCap specific enclosure, which I'll link in the description. As heat, also called solar gain, is always concerned, I might also suggest you grab a solar shield as well. Be advised, with these ex external installs, most miners don't have remote power reset nor remote pairing, so you'll definitely want to think about accessibility should you need to do some diagnostics. Fortunately, the M1 does have a remote power reset, so this is a definite plus for this miner. This orientation is the only orientation that I found to work with the standard rack enclosure. Make sure when you're putting this in that you only do this finger tight as you don't need to over tighten it. And then your power and your ethernet are all on the top side here. They only need to worry about the fan, the venting fan on the front side. And of course on the back. Make sure everything's tightened down and there you go. Now let's go through some website information. Of course there's their website, sensecapmx.com. MX meaning that they have the M1, which is featured here, but then there will be more coming soon. I believe the M2 is supposed to be a light hotspot. I've asked for a release date and they don't have one set as of yet. The rumor through Helium and other means is that maybe March is when we'll see light hotspots come up. Now those light hotspots are still going through the Manufacturing Oversight Committee, but you can see that SenseCap does have all the way through hardware arrived and in queue for audit. Another reminder that they were voted second place in the Helium Noble Awards. I'll also drop a link to their website, which has an overview of the gateway and important information, including the quick start guide. There's also extra information on their dashboard, which has a lot of information on it, more than uh, what is just shown here. You can keep scrolling down. It has information uh, in detail about what fields are on there, why you would be interested in that, and some, some of the tools that are included uh, with the SenseCap M1, and what is good and what is bad. So that's awesome for you to diagnose your own issues. Of course, if you still can't figure out the problems, uh, of course, manufacturers want to make sure that their product stays in the field and that they don't have to pay for RMAs and warranty claims for things that aren't valid. So you can check out the support here and also you can check out the link uh, to their Discord as well. So shout out to a manufacturer having awesome information on their guide. So they have YouTube videos linked and data sheets, even questions if you are trying to get a, to be a, become a distributor, and then of course if the, you want a refund. And of course, I'll include the link in the description to the SenseCap M1 Outdoor Enclosure Kit from Rack Wireless. It's currently at a 5% off. 
and appears to include the new PoE injector from Rack Wireless, which is awesome. It's supposed to uh, support gigabit ethernet better. So how's your sense cap doing? Put some comments down below. And if you like this review, please smash that like and do subscribe for all my videos as well. I'm continuing to gear up for 5G coverage and the launch of light hotspots. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Till next time, carpe tempestus, everyone. That means seize the storm.